think one of Marvel's most important series coming down the pipe is going to be Daredevil Born Again. And now we've gotten a couple of updates on the upcoming series, including a massive crew of veteran superhero writers, as well as a returning cast member from the original season, which I think should give us some optimism about those other important castings. So let's dive into it all. Well, one of the most highly anticipated series coming from Marvel Studios absolutely has to be Daredevil Born Again. For many people, the Netflix series was probably the best superhero television ever. And quite honestly, Charlie Cox brought the character to life in ways fans did not expect. Now, he's already made a couple teases in the MCU being part of No Way Home and She-Hulk. But as many of you know, his upcoming series, Daredevil Born Again, is going to be Marvel's biggest show ever. The series has received an 18-episode order. And Charlie Cox is going to spend most of 2023 working on the series. This is absolutely going to make it Marvel Studios' longest-running show for any season. And it gives them the opportunities to tell the stories they really have to do to set up the Marvel street-level heroes that Kevin Feige's been talking about. Now, the first story is our crew of new writers. And man, there are a bunch of them, and some of them with some big superhero background. Now, the first up is David Feige. No relation. And he's a real-life lawyer, which I think is going to work with the team to give it an element of truth in their legal scenes. He's probably best known for the TNT series Raising the Bar, but was also executive producer on For Life. Now, next up is Thomas Wong, who worked on Minority Report and Good Trouble. Jill Blankenship, who's probably best known for her work on Arrow and The Last Ship. Zachary Ryder, who's worked on some pretty big television franchises, including Law & Order, Organized Crime, and CSI New York. Granny Godfrey, who has also worked on Arrow, The Flash, and Legends of Tomorrow. Devon Kligger, who doesn't have a larger list of projects to point to, but wrote a script called Key of Geniuses, and in 2017 was on the industry's hot list known as The Blacklist. And Aisha Porter Christie, who has worked on some huge projects including Orphan Black, Shadowhunters, and the, and the Boys spin-off Gen V. Looking at this group of writers, there's a couple things to take away. First and foremost, having a real lawyer on staff means the legal scenes are going to slap. And with that, we're probably going to get some very realistic courtroom stuff. This is something I think that's pretty needed for Charlie Cox. That courtroom focus is a big part of his character, and it's pretty good to see that happening. Now, I did notice quite a few CW alumni in this group of writers that worked on Arrow, The Flash, and Legends of Tomorrow. Now, I can already hear the moans and groans, but I want to point something out. Daredevil Season 3 also had Arrow writers working on that. And quite honestly, that finale with the Kingpin and Matt basing off in the Kingpin's living room was probably one of the best superhero scenes ever. So I don't think people should focus on that too much. And it's pretty clear, these writers are massively accomplished and very talented. And I think from the perspective of writing, this particular project has been set up for success. Now, the other bit of news is a picture that was taken by one of the actors and posted to their social media account. And I think it's pretty important if you're a Daredevil fan. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, that is Royce J. Johnson, who in the original series played Brett Mahoney. Now, if you're a fan of that show, you know how big Brett Mahoney was to that series, and he had a really great arc starting off as a street cop and ending the series as a detective. This is kind of a big deal to me, because outside of Vincent D'Onofrio and Charlie Cox, this is actually the first casting we've heard about that's from the original show. Now, in the picture, he appeared to be in a police uniform. So again, this makes me wonder a little bit about the continuity. You can become a detective and end up back in blues, but usually that's not the direction they go, and it might give some indication they're adjusting the timeline a little bit in relationship to Matt Murdock and where he's at at this stage of his life. I really hope this is an indicator that other actresses, like Deborah Ann Wall, who played Karen Page will be part of this series. If not a direct sequel to the original show, Cox has made it pretty clear it is its own thing and not a season 4, but I think if Marvel wants to capture that energy that the first show had and transfer that to the new show, they need to bring several more of the main actors over to the project. Now, whether this means her and maybe Eldon Henson do come to the new show, we've got no news of that yet, but the fact that Royce Johnson is on board does mean Marvel is very open to some of these returning actors, and if they'll bring him back, I really see no reason why they wouldn't bring Foggy and Karen back at the same time. Now, whether this was on set, a costume test, or Royce working on another project where he dressed up as a policeman, we're going to have to wait and see. I really do feel like this is a daredevil hint, and his return will be welcomed fair. Daredevil's obviously going to have a pretty special place for Marvel coming up in 2024, and as a big fan of the character, I am totally looking forward to what Marvel's about to bring us.